Okay, this is the beam check software. We talked about um, how to calculate some beams recently, so I thought I would put together a quick tutorial on who to do, how to do some basic calculations and uh, show how easy it is with the software. This is the main screen. Um, it's not fancy, but it's quite powerful, and there's a lot of subtle things built into the software that you don't see. So let's do an example. Let's say we want to span, we want to determine if a beam can span um, 16 feet. And you can see it's set to a simple span. And we want to use standard lumber, so I'm going to select SPF, type lumber. And let's go ahead and give it a standard um, house floor load, which in Michigan is um, a 40 live load with a 20 dead load and the way you put that in there is you put the live load right here and then the live load plus the dead load uh, gives you your 60. So so far we put in our span told it it's just a simple span and you can get a quick diagram of it here so this represents our beam and it's showing that you have a nice uniform load like a floor and it's supported on both ends with a span of 16 feet okay now lots of other stuff you can do here but let's go ahead and do a calculation first and it'll show us in the center section here it shows us pretty much all the available wood options for beams we could use so for example saying we can use a 2 by 14 which is kind of hard to find or we could use two 2 by 10s three 2 by 8s 4 2 by 8s, um, a 4 by 10, 6 by 10, and different grades of the wood are down the list here on the left. So let's just go ahead and say we use number 2 stock SPF. Let's use 3 2 by 8s and see what happens. So you click that, it shows up at the top, and let's go ahead and test that. and what you end up with is you get this kind of complicated looking report but basically you really only need to look in a couple areas you can see this row status row here it says everything is okay that's the first thing you look for but then uh, the next thing you have to look for is the total load deflection and you can see we're at 0.77 inches three quarters of an inch um, under full load that's kind of high so in this case I would say that's not a good solution so let's go back and find one that doesn't have quite as much total load deflection here so we'll back up and so we're going to need something heavier than the triple 2 by 8 so let's um, go up to 2 by 10s we'll use double 2 by 10s and plug that in And now you can see, of course, the beam still tests okay. And our total load deflection is 0.54, which is a half inch under a full load. And if you think about it, 16 foot span, that's to be expected. That's quite a bit of load on that long of a span with just um, standard lumber. Now, it's possible sometimes that you don't find a, a good solution and um, there's times even that standard wood can't can't handle the load so if we go back to this first screen we can say you know the heck with this lumber let's go ahead and um, use a steel beam instead so click on steel beams it changes the screen a little bit and over here this is kind of the main main part for steel and general, generally use a wide flange type steel beam for residential house construction. So same thing, we've already we've still got our loads plugged in there, we've still got our span plugged in there. Let's go ahead and calculate. And you see a slightly different screen. These are all of the different beam sizes that um, you could potentially use. So for example, saying a W6x9, um, that's actually four inches wide 
six inches deep and it weighs nine pounds per foot. Let's go ahead and pick that and see what happens. And what you notice here is you come to our screen and, s and look at the course. It can handle the load. You know, our status is all okay. But you notice here in the deflection, we're 0.21 inch, which is less than a quarter of an inch. That's what you're looking for. That would be, this beam would be a good solution to span the 16 foot um, with, with not a lot of deflection. And that's, in this case, that's one of the lighter steel beams that you could use. So that's just an example of what we can do.